Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be evaluating a numerical expression. We have 4 to the 6th power times 9 to the 5th power plus 6 to the 9th power times 120. All of that divided by 8 to the 4th power times 3 to the power 12 minus 6 to the 11th power. So when we evaluate each of these numbers, we're kind of seeing some large numbers. For example, 4 to the 6th power is the same as 2 to the power 12, which is 4096. And then 9 to the 5th power is 59,049. That's a pretty large number, but don't worry, we're going to see larger numbers. 6 to the 9th power is just going to be 10,077,696. Multiply that by 120, and then all of that is divided by 8 to the 4th power, which is, again, the same thing as 4 to the 6th power, which is 2 to the 12, 4,096. Multiply by... 531,441, which is 3 to the power 12, minus 6 to the power 11. That's going to be a pretty large number, and that is equal to 362,797,056. Great. So if you go ahead and multiply these two numbers, and then multiply those two numbers, add them up, blah, 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 blah. Okay. No, no, no. This is not the way to do it, obviously, right? But I just wanted to show you what happens if you directly... Calculate these numbers. If you use a calculator, obviously, you're going to get the answer, right? You can just plug it in. You don't even have to evaluate these. Like, you can just enter powers, use parentheses appropriately, so on and so forth. But that's not the point. Here's the point. We're going to use prime factorization. That is the key. So, for example, uh, 4 can be written as 2 to the second power, so this becomes 2 to the power 12. 9 is 3 to the second power, so 9 to the fifth can be written as 3 to the power 10. 6 can be broken down into 2 times 3, so we can write it as 2 to the 9th, 3 to the 9th. And 120, think about its prime factorization. It's 8 times 15, which is 2 to the 3rd power times 15 is 3 times 5, so we can kind of write it like this. And all of that is divided by 8 to the 4th, which is 2 to the 12 times 3 to the 12 minus 2 to the 11 times 3 to the power 11. Because 6 can be broken down again into 3 times 2. Make sense? So everything is a prime number. All the bases are primes. So we did the prime factorization pretty much. Let's go ahead and combine these in a meaningful manner. There isn't really much we can do with the 2 to the power 12 and 3 to the 10, so I'm just going to copy that. But here, we can kind of combine, okay, 2 to the 9th and 2 to the 3rd. Uh, we can multiply them by adding exponents. That's going to make 2 to the power 12. And then I have 3 to the 9th power with 3 to the 1st power, which can be written as 3 to the 10th power, and 5 is just going to stay. And then at the bottom, we don't really uh, have much to do, so let's just leave it as is for right now. And then I'm going to start factoring. Great. So for factoring, I'm going to be looking for um, the common factors, but numerators and denominators are going to be different here. So I don't worry about a common factor that covers everything, but I'll do it separately. So for example, if you look at the numerator, you have 2 to 12, 2 to the 12th, that's a common factor for sure, but we also have 3 to the 10. So it makes sense if you take out 2 to the power 12 and 3 to the 10th, and inside the parentheses, we're going to get 1 plus 5, because we have the same factor. And then at the bottom, we notice that one of the terms has 2 to the 12th, the other one is 2 to the 11th, so we have to go with the smaller one, and with the 3, again, we have to go with the smaller 3, but that kind of gives us 2 times 3 minus 1 which is 6 minus 1, which is 5, obviously. Well, let's go ahead and simplify the powers first. If you divide 2 to the power 12 by 2 to the 11, you're going to end up with a 2 here. And if you do it the other way around, you're going to end up with a 3 at the bottom. So now this is what we have. 2 times 6 divided by 3 times 5. Obviously, 3 goes into 6 2 times, and we get the answer as 4 fifths. If you did the work and just multiply those gigantic numbers and simplify at the end if you can, you would still get the same answer. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.